Over the last few days we've seen the coldest spell of the winter so far across at least a good part of the UK. And the reason for that is a large area of high pressure, quite intense high pressure in fact, centred over Russia and Scandinavia. What that's allowed is very cold air to sweep into the UK from the east from a very, very cold continental source. Look at the map to my right here. What you can see, uh, this is the UK and through here and here's continental Europe. Um, that the area of high pressure centred over Scandinavia, which I mentioned, is allowing this very cold air to spread in from the east. And the blue colours here show that, that cold air spreading in from the east. Uh, out to the west here, these orange and green colours, that shows the milder Atlantic air, which is trying to make a comeback. And this will cause us a few problems as we go into the weekend. Before that happens, there's also the risk of some snow showers spreading in off the North Sea. And the, the, these blue symbols here show where the computer model expects the snow showers to be. And what we expect is a risk of a light covering of snow across parts of uh, East Anglia and, and Kent over, over the next couple of nights, perhaps. You may wake up to a slight covering in those areas on, in some of the next few mornings. Well, the main problems I mentioned, really, is the comeback of the milder air from the West and the kind of battleground scenario that's going to lead to. If I just step through the sequence here into Saturday, you can see here by midday Saturday, roughly speaking, we expect precipitation to be in this kind of area, so much of Scotland, Wales and the southwest. As it bumps into the colder air further east, that's when we start to see the problems. And these blue symbols here show where, where the computer model thinks it's going to turn to snow. As we go into the period Saturday night through to Sunday morning, which is the next frame, more of that turns to snow. The reason for that is that as the front comes up against this block of high pressure and cold air, it's going to slow down and stall, come to a, a grinding halt. That increases the risk of snow and also the longevity of the snow as well. Now at the moment we're expecting an area of snow to develop across um, a good part of England and perhaps East Wales through late Saturday into Sunday, but the timing and the extent of that is still rather uncertain. Where it does occur, which I think is most likely in this kind of area and through here, across perhaps the Midlands and into the east, east of England, something of the order 5 to 10 centimetres, but that's still rather uncertain at the moment. The best bet really is to stay tuned to the forecast over the next few days, particularly if you have travel plans for Saturday night or for Sunday morning. So what happens after the weekend? Well, the snow in the southeast should die out during the course of Sunday, leaving a very cold setup because this area of high pressure to the east and the cold air won't give way very easily, it's very stubborn. At the same time, Atlantic weather fronts and milder air will try and push in from the west but come up against this block of high pressure and increasingly slow down and stall. So I think for eastern parts of the country, probably staying cold through much of next week, whilst further west, more in the way of wind and rain at times and generally on the milder side.